good happy Thursday afternoon, November 12, 2020. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. We have a lot of news to get to this Thursday afternoon, so let's begin. First up, let's begin with your coronavirus in New Hampshire key information and data. And here is a look at that information for all of you right now. There are 13,148 number of people in New Hampshire who have tested positive for COVID-19. There are 10,392,000. 672 number of people in the United States have tested positive. 492 number of deaths from COVID-19 in New Hampshire. 800 number of people who have been hospitalized with COVID-19 in New Hampshire. And 24918 number of deaths from COVID-19 in the United States. Now let's take a look at this map of New Hampshire where current cases of COVID-19 are. In Manchester, 157. Let's take a look at this map of New Hampshire where total cases of COVID-19 are. Manchester, 2565. And now let's take a look at these three charts here. Let's start with the first chart here. New cases each day in New Hampshire. In the purple, daily new positive COVID-19 cases. In the orange, new hospitalization and red deaths. And let's take a look at this chart here. Current cases in the purple, total current COVID-19 cases. And in the orange, current hospitalization. Now let's take a look at this chart here, total cases in the purple, total positive COVID-19 cases, and the orange, total hospitalization, red deaths, and blue covered. Now let's take a look at this chart here, positive PCR test rate, and daily PCR test. And let's take a look at this chart here, age group of cases, female and male of cases, and risk information. And let's take a look at this chart here, infections hospitalizations, and deaths. And let's take a look at this chart here. Deaths, percent of New Hampshire population, race slash ethnicity of cases, and hospitalizations. And a reminder, your common symptoms, fever, lack of smell, cough, chills, difficult breathing, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. How it spreads, and prevention tips. And be sure to stay with the Riley King Network for the latest of your COVID-19 information. Interstate youth hockey competitions across New England, New Jersey, suspended until end of 2020. Governors from New England states, New Jersey, make joint announcement Thursday. Interstate youth hockey competitions have been suspended until the end of the year in seven northeast states, including New Hampshire. Offices for each state's governor announced jointly Thursday. All interstate hockey competitions from public schools, private schools, and youth leagues in New Hampshire, Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Vermont, and New Jersey have been suspended beginning Saturday and until December 31st at the earliest. As cases of numbers increase in many states across the country, it is critical that neighboring states coordinate a regional approach to limit further community spread of the virus, officials wrote in a joint press release. The coronavirus-related safety measures does not cover elegant hockey teams, professional hockey teams, or the U.S. national hockey teams, officials said. But those teams will be subjected to existing COVID-19 safety protocols. Additional restrictions are possible as the pandemic continues to unfold, officials said. For the state said. Given the support for this agreement from our regional neighbors, New Hampshire made the practical decision 
to join this effort. We remain optimistic that our newly issued hockey and ice arena guidance will continue to ensure the safe and successful hockey season for New Hampshire hockey players, Governor Chris Sununu said in a statement. The Governor's weekly COVID-19 press briefing will begin today at 1 p.m. Live at 1 p.m., Governor Sununu holds a briefing about New Hampshire's COVID-19 response. There have been 13,148 known coronavirus cases in New Hampshire, officials say. Governor Chris Sununu plans to give the latest coronavirus response updates at a briefing Thursday afternoon. The briefing is scheduled to begin at 1 p.m. Please note that this is an early time that has became normal. See it airing live on WMUR TV and streaming above this article. As of Wednesday evening, there have been 13,148 known coronavirus cases in New Hampshire. Of those, 492 patients have died, while 10,262 people have recovered. There are 2,394 active COVID-19 cases and 69 active hospitalizations in the state. The daily PCR test positivity rate for Wednesday was 2.3%. Ken Itch appears in line for New Hampshire House Speaker. Democrats to have contest for leader. It's never ever safe to predict what will happen in New Hampshire House, but it appears that the current House Speaker leader, Dick Ken Itch of Merrimack, is in line to be elected speaker when the members meet to open the new session on December 2nd. City of Manchester to give fired officer back pay after arbitrator's ruling. Officer Aaron Brown fired after racist tech text messages were found on a phone in 2018. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. Bentley Chevrolet says now is the time to explore our Chevy Cyber Sales event. Buy a new 2020 Chevy Equinox all-wheel drive SUV, just 22 884 Bentley Chevrolet, the neighborhood dealer who treats you like family. The city of Manchester says it has no other choice but to pay a former police officer previously fired for racist text messages. Officer Aaron Brown was fired back in 2018 after the text, me text messages rather were found on his department-issued cell phone. Early this year, an arbitrator ruled that Brown should have been suspended and not fired and that the city should pay him back pay and reinstate him. Officials say while they fought long and hard to prevent Brown from being reinstated, they have to award the... Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And Concord School Board meeting, a special meeting of the board is tonight at 5.30 p.m. Thursday, November 12th. And the agenda, vote on holiday session, instructional model. This meeting will be held at Christopher McAuliffe Auditorium at Concord High School. There is limited capacity in the room. Virtual location, his link to join the virtual meeting, Microsoft Teams. Audio conference is 9 Two five three nine one 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 six nine. Conference number eight four five five 
1-800-276-4976. Pound. Live broadcast on Conquer TV, Channel 6. Live streamed on www.youtube.com slash Concord NHTV. The board will take recipients of citizen comments via email. You can email them at Concord info at SAU 8.org. And the meeting again will begin at 5 30 p.m. A special board meeting this evening. And we will show you the information for you right now. Take a look. So, any parents of Concord High School students that are interested in a hearing this meeting, here are the information that you can all see. And we will be sure to share a link of the website so you can get the information how you can attend it virtually. That is it for this afternoon edition of the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for joining us for this afternoon edition. I hope you all have a great rest of your afternoon and I'll see you back here later on today for another newscast. I'll have a news report coming up in a little bit. Goodbye everyone.